you come to my house, I will not greet you and I will not take a picture with you. And if you came from really far away, well, I'm sorry, you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, this video has been a long time coming and over the past few weeks on YouTube, this thing seems to have exploded way out of control. Because it seems like every other day we get another story of a crazy fan showing up at someone's house when they're not supposed to be there. And honestly, so many people have talked about it at this point, I really considered not even making this a video, and I had even asked you guys on Twitter if I should do this type of video. But in the end, I decided there's probably some good things I could say about this here, and well, a lot of people don't really do this type of video until it's happened to them themselves, so I'm going to take the initiative and make a video on this topic before it even has a chance to happen to me. And heck, if anything else, it'll give me an opportunity to say what I would like to see from you guys in a situation if you guys were to ever want to come to my house. And I'm not trying to be cocky and say like, oh hey, I have 17,000 subs, of course someone's gonna want to come to my house, but like, it, it, it's a genuine possibility as a YouTuber nowadays that this stuff would happen. And don't take this as I won't want to meet you guys eventually. I mean, honestly, just meeting one person that likes what you do and watches your stuff is a surreal experience. I mean, like, I would love to meet you guys at some point. I will do a meetup when I get more people in the area that, you know, may actually want to meet me. Because that would be cool as shit. Just don't do it at our houses, please, okay? Thank you. Because when I said almost every day, I mean almost every day. Just yesterday day Boogie2988 actually came out on Twitter saying a random fan came up to his house and it was super creepy. And then we had the uh, entire situation a few days ago where Jesse from McJuggernuggets had his house broken into by a fan, which, you know, I'm not even going to say may be true because, you know, we know he's good at faking stuff, so it just smells a promotion for his behind-the-scenes documentary. Someone broke into his house and I was just calling to verify if that's true or not. And the uh, Jesse Ridgeway? Uh, that's all fake. Huh? It's all fake. But to anyone who may potentially want to go to a YouTuber's house, you know, and see them without being invited over first, put yourself in that person's position first. Now say you have a YouTube channel, if you're watching this, you do have a YouTube channel, and say you somehow got 1 million subs overnight, not saying that would ever happen, but say that's what happened. Now imagine the next day, people who you have no idea who they are are in front of your house, they're staring through your windows, they're knocking on your doors. Would you or would you not feel free? freaked out in that situation. I mean, if that happened, you would feel like an animal in the zoo and that you were just something for people to look at. You and your home becomes a public exhibit for people to just come by, take pictures of, hang out in front of, loiter, do whatever they want, and you basically can do nothing. It's your private home and people are just coming to you non-stop. Being a YouTuber doesn't mean that person doesn't have their right to privacy. Being a celebrity doesn't mean that person and it doesn't have a right to privacy. It's still their home, please respect that. And just because we are speaking to a very small portion of the community at this point, I mean, we are it's not to you. It's not that we don't like you. We would love to meet you guys, just don't do it at our house. And because I know this video was probably a pretty serious one, and well, there wasn't many jokes in this, uh, I, well, look, it's the PewDiePie is doing the things with his white cap, uh, back at it again with the white cap. Was that a bird? Well, look at me, I have a beautiful accent and little kid show up to my door every few hours by my merch. Hey, I'm, I'm part of FaZe. Oh shit bro, me too. Jesus Christ guys, will you shut up? I'm trying to sleep. Yo guys, is the FaZe meetup over yet? Yay yeah, bro, you just missed it. Fuck, guess I'll see you guys later. Hey, everyone, sorry I'm late. You guys trust me still, right? Great, I'm gonna call up YouTuber24 and blame him for this because that makes sense. Hey guys, look, my eyes infected. Please help. Oh shit, how the fucking scale again here? Thank you everyone so much for watching this train wreck of an episode. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I would love a new addition to the Snake Army. We have yesterday's video playing on screen right now, so be sure to click that if you haven't seen it yet. And uh, if you don't want to, we have three other people down here who are a lot better at making videos than me so uh, go check out any of them in any order you like they're really good and please tell them I sent you and please and let me know if you guys took to heart what I said in this video you know except for the last part where I was joking around and uh, having fun with a bunch of different people so uh, yeah it was a little bit of a roaster but yeah just let me know what you guys think I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one with a another youtuber review 
with Blash signing out.